<sighs> Alright, well you know what time it is. Let's get started with a new episode of My Hair Academia, and there are a lot of ups and downs in this episode. Get it? Because of Gentle's quirk. Anyway, let's get started. <laughs> So, just like most shows that want to build tension right before the big final moment of the series, or in this case, just the arc, we are down to the night before, and in the following portions of this episode, the day of our main hero's event. And uh, so this is going to be interesting because as of right now, we don't know exactly what's going to happen with Deku because they are down to the wire. So let's just talk about where it started and what happened and how they got to this point. So at this point, the students are practicing everything they can for the last time before the show, and they are in the gym until the very last minutes when they are finally kicked out of the gym. And uh, yeah, so obviously they've been putting a lot of work into it. They are very dedicated to this. They've got a lot of time invested, and that becomes very important with Deku later. But essentially they've been practicing and practicing nonstop, and they're to the last point where there's nothing really left to do but perform. And in the dorms, when they're kind of looking over the last few things they have to do, Deku notices that the rope that they had been using to hoist Aoyama up to move him around in the gym is extremely frayed from all the practicing. Aoyama says it's a sign of their friendship, but whatever, dude. But realizing how dangerous it is, Deku decides that he's gonna go at the crack of dawn to a store right as it opens and buy some new rope. And the store he's going to is the store right next to the shop that Gentle Criminal is buying his tea from. Uh, so that can only go well because, well, that's how any show like this goes. So yeah, we're expecting them obviously to run into one another because Deku's going and buying rope just happens to coincide with the tea time that Gentle Criminal and La Brava are planning. Now, right in the morning when the next day comes around, before Deku runs out to the store to buy the rope, since the store didn't open right away, he is practicing his new ability of pushing air into different targets. We learn this is called Air Force, which is really cool. I like the fact that he's got shoot style, he's got Air Force. I wanna see what else he gets, but we have Hatsume show up and she has exactly what Deku had been uh, asking for. She built the gloves and the usefulness of those gloves is going to hopefully come in more useful later, but was extremely useful during this episode. Of course, Hatsume has been working like so tirelessly on like everything she's been trying to do for the event. And uh, <laughs> the school festival, I guess, is like her big moment to show off all of her babies. And so she's just covered in grime. She's got dark circles under her eyes. And she says that once the event's over, she's going to probably sleep for about 36 hours, which sounds like me whenever I work on a big video project, but uh, she's clearly taking it to an even higher level. <laughs> but when Hatsume brings these gloves to Deku, All Might obviously wants to see one, and he's appalled because of how he was saying his you know, uh, gear would have been most of his bulk. He was amazed at how compact they can make them now, and of course they want to try it out, which means that Deku ends up running a tad bit late to the store, but that's fine because you know nothing could possibly get in the way to keep him from just getting there, getting rope, and coming back, right? Right? But when Deku finishes trying out his new gloves, he leaves, and he leaves at 7.50, which is where we start seeing the clock at the bottom corner of the screen, gets to the store, and gets back out by 8.15. So, 7.50 to 8.15, he's making good time, and then he runs into Gentle Criminal and La Brava right as they're leaving the tea shop. And it's just hilarious the way that <sighs> Gentle is just such a weird guy, and I love it. Like, he's still losing his mind over the amazing taste of Gold Tips Imperial, uh, and uh, so he doesn't want this aftertaste ruined, but with the interaction between Deku and Gentle going longer and longer and longer, as it drags on, Deku begins to piece together that he is talking with Gentle Criminal, and Gentle begins to piece together that the student he is talking with is from UA, the school that he is about to infiltrate. And it's at this moment that it's reiterated to us as the viewers that if an alarm is sounded at all, whether false alarm or not, the school will be evacuated and the event will be entirely canceled. And thanks for pointing out to me guys that uh, they were more concerned about the League of Villains than they were about Gentle. So um, thanks for clearing that up. Either way, it may end up being Gentle, who's the one who ruins the uh, school event. I don't think he's going to, but he's definitely 
well, he's definitely going to give Deku a run for his money. But during this interaction, after Deku's already pieced together that Gentle is who he's talking to, and Gentle figures out that he's talking with a UA student, once all of this happens and we have this entire interaction of Deku telling him not to go to his school and everything, Gentle has Labrava start filming, which can only mean one thing. Stuff is going to go down. And we figure out what his quirk is now, or it's explained to us. So his quirk is elasticity, which makes all the sense in the world with the building that he was in, uh, when we first see him, how the building was all wobbly. We have him bouncing straight up into the air to building heights, which is pretty wild. And so now we know that his ability is elasticity, though it doesn't, as he said, it doesn't seem like he has control over the time limit. It's just the longer he lets it kind of alone, it will go back to its original state, which he takes advantage of at one point as well. Actually, he takes advantage of it a couple times, but either way, the one time he uses it and takes advantage of it coming solid again is very important and very detrimental to Deku. But anyway, while they're talking, Deku is sort of rehashing, or rather the viewer is getting this rehashed to them, how much every student is putting effort into this event. And we start seeing the time pop up more and more. Deku basically starts this fight at 8.30. He is very close, like they are running it right down to the wire and everybody's getting ready and Deku's still not back because this is where he begins his fight with Gentle. And the first time we actually see Gentle's quirk in action is when Deku lunges at Gentle for an attack and we see that he's actually turned the air into an elastic barrier and it runs into Deku, or rather Deku runs into it and it throws him backwards. And of course, Gentle trying to be the gentleman, he never loses his composure, which is hilarious, but with him never losing his composure, he's still, well, he's still a threat, but he's just so ridiculous. Even as a threat, like I can't really take him seriously. <laughs> now, after he throws Deku backwards, he says he hates resolving these things with violence. And it's kind of funny that that's his whole mentality. Like he doesn't want to be a violent criminal. He's a gentle criminal, but, uh, yeah, it's just, it's so funny to see when Deku is pushing him, what Gentle is actually able to do when pressed to, to defend himself and, you know, keep his plan from falling apart. And so the fight continues and we have Deku getting thrown into the air this time. So we see that Gentle Trampoline is pretty much what he was using, what Gentle was using to catapult himself and Labrava up to like the tops of buildings and stuff. But when we have... Deku thrown into the air and Gentle and Labrava escaping, we finally, finally get to see Deku use his Air Force ability with his gloves while up in the air. And I'm curious to see if they're going to use that as a way of sort of propelling himself, because we know that All Might used that during the UA, uh, uh, what is it, the practical exams, when All Might punched the air and shot himself backwards breaking Deku's spine. We know that that's a, that's a possible ability for Deku to use the air force to move himself. And while Deku's in the air getting ready to sort of blast an air bullet or a air force whatever at, uh, at Gentle, we have this whole flashback of everything he's been learning with the dancing. We also have uh, sort of this, not realization because we already know him, but we have him thinking through all the time and effort that's been put into actually making this event happen. And we get to see the most adorable thing, which is almost, Ari almost smiled because she's getting excited to see what's gonna happen. She says she's getting excited and seeing her almost smile was like the most adorable thing, which can only mean that when she does smile, it's gonna be even more adorable. My chair. It's very squeaky right now. We also see Jiro asking Deku about how he takes notes because she wants to do the exact same thing for the students who are taking part in the band because she wants to be able to write down certain lesson elements and stuff like that. So she got overly excited and just wrote down a bunch of notes. She used Deku's technique for him organizing all the information he has about heroes and stuff, which is really cool. And it makes Deku happy because he sees that, you know, his one of his weird quirks, it's funny to say quirk because it's not that, but it's, it's a weird quirk of his, is actually something that she's willing to try to learn in order to teach other people. So his methods are actually useful, even though it was sort of a fanboy thing that he started with. So anyway, I've been talking a lot about the flashback stuff. So Deku fires off one of his Air Force shots and it blasts Gentle Criminal into a construction zone, which was a mistake because this is where Gentle really does just sort of 
come into his own and use the environment to his advantage. Now, La Brava sort of convinces somebody that they're just filming something and that, you know, if you could let the neighbors know and that kind of stuff so that they don't get the cops called on them. But um, we'll, we'll see how long that lasts. So when Deku lands in the construction site and finds Gentle hanging by his coattails, Gentle's just going through like the begging for his life and, and this kind of stuff, but he does not lose his composure. And he's just so odd in the way that he interacts with others, his mannerisms, it's its just funny. And they do a good job of like once, once he actually starts, he was already taking it seriously, but once he starts using his abilities more openly and more aggressively, he is like, I can take him seriously, but when he's just acting like gentle criminal, it is very hard to sort of take him seriously. But once Gentle hops down and starts using his quirk everywhere, we see that Deku can't predict his movements. It's very difficult for him to actually keep up with what, what Gentle is doing. He is flying all over the place. And when Deku actually finally fires an air blast at him, it is deflected. Not only is it deflected off of the air, it's deflected around and back to Deku. So it's very funny to me with a lot of the ways that these characters are, are using their quirks. You've got to, like, I've got to remind myself, Deku, obviously, we see a lot of the training that Deku's going through, and we see these students who are training their abilities to become better and better. But, you know, Deku was quirkless, so he's obviously learning his quirk and then how to use it more and more. And it's becoming more comfortable for him to use, but it's still not all there. We have other heroes, other students rather, who are using their quirks more and more, but they are also refining their abilities. But seeing somebody who has their abilities refined this much, like Gentle does, is really cool to see. Like, he barely even has to look or think when he's fighting against uh, Deku, because he just kind of knows where his quirk can be very useful. And the one instance that was very useful for, well, his escape was when he was on a steel beam, he removed the bolts from the steel beam and dropped the steel beam. And Deku, of course, thinking as a hero does, thinks that it's gonna fall and land on a civilian. This, the one civilian who was like paying attention to the whole fight that Labrava was, you know, trying to tell him not to pay attention to, like go tell the neighbors we're just filming stuff. So this guy's still watching and Deku thought that it was gonna fall on him. So Deku runs and catches it. All it was there for was simply to keep Deku in place. And because it worked, Gentle and Labrava are about to get away. And it's kind of funny to me, like of all the things that we've seen Deku overcome and all the things that he's struggled with, we end up running into this sort of weird scenario of kind of, I, I found it really hard to believe that a steel beam was all it took to limit Deku, but then I remembered that like without using all of his body as 20%, on average, his body rests at 8%. Uh, I, I think it's still 8%, but yeah, that's all. So he's just using 8% of, of his strength to hold up that steel beam. So yeah, and he also doesn't have the bracers for his arms anymore, which I find kind of weird. Like you'd think that they would still have the bracers since the gloves are using 20% and forcing it back, but I don't know. Now this is where things really start to come down to the wire because we already knew that Deku only had just under 30 minutes to get back and this fight's been going on, so obviously the time is just going and going and going. Deku's stuck under a steel beam, so he can't really escape at the moment, or at least not yet. And Gentle and the Brava are about to make it to UA and have the entire event canceled. And of course, we see everybody prepping for it. We have the band who's very nervous. We have all the dancers who are getting dressed up and are all super excited. Then we have the special effects team who are kind of wondering where Deku's at and the fact that he's cutting it very, very, very close. And with Deku knowing that everybody is kind of relying on him to make it back so everything goes perfectly, he uses all of his strength to hold up the steel beam with one hand and fire off another air blast shot at Gentle and Labrava, who have catapulted themselves towards the school with uh, with a crane that uh, that he used to turn into Jello. And so it deflects their path, and this is where Labrava realizes that Gentle isn't going to give up. Deku isn't gonna give up. And so she says, we should use my quirk. We don't know what her quirk is yet. We've only seen Gentle's quirk and we know Labrava is a great hacker, but I don't think that justifies or qualifies as a quirk. So we'll have to kind of just wait and see. But that was the episode. That was actually kind of frustrating because I really wanted to see a full-fledged fight. But my guess is that the next fight, we didn't see much in the preview, but my guess is next fight's probably gonna be a little flashier, um, possibly because Gentle 
I don't know. Uh, I would guess that Labrava's quirk is some sort of supporting quirk, perhaps, something like a power-up or something like that to help Gentle fight better. Uh, I don't know. Or maybe she actually is the, the power piece. I don't know. Like, her personality makes it makes me think that her quirk would be, like, a support quirk, not a main quirk. But I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, because the episode just straight up ended with less than 30 minutes left to get back to the school and make sure everything goes perfectly which is very frustrating because I wanted to see the wrap up. And that probably also means that next episode is going to be the fight. And then we'll have to wait another week for the final episode where we actually see the entire dance, music, everything. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. Otherwise, it was a good episode. It was definitely like a very like, let's poke at the heartstrings and let's, you know, show everybody how much everybody's been working, which I appreciate. I like the fact that they're really giving you a sense of how much effort and how much time has been put into everything these students are working towards. But in the case of Deku and, and all of the other students working really hard for this, I really wanted more out of the episode, but that's fine. We've got a pretty decent preview of what's going to happen next episode. Uh, something to do with Labrava's quirk and uh, Aries there, which means we might get a smile. I just saw that in the little side screen there, but I'm really excited to see what happens. I, I hope you guys are too. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Make sure to like and subscribe and all that because I definitely I definitely like making these videos and I'm excited to see what the next episode has uh, in store. So yeah, apart from that, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Video just ended behind me, but make sure to like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. And I'll see you on the next episode. Make sure to be there and have a good one. Oh, and leave a comment if, uh, if you think I missed anything. And apart from that, I'll see you on the next episode. Make sure to be there and have a good one. So Deku's uniform and all of his support gear just kind of flies apart when he exceeds 20% of his power, at least so far, and uh, presumably these would do the exact same thing if you managed to exceed 20% of one for all. But in order to keep that from happening, why not save 10%? You know, get it? It's below 20%. Yeah, save 10%. Go and type in SFMH in the uh, promo section whenever you go to buy one of these shirts, because you obviously will, and save yourself 10%. Go do it, please.